plaguing our generation.
One day, while I was at the fountain to get some water, a man came running to me and said, Let me drink a little water from your jar. And I said, Drink, my master. And he did. When he was finished, I asked, I, I said, Let me give some to your camels, too. There were ten. That's how old I was. Then he asked me, Who are you? And I said, I am the daughter of Bethuel. My grandmother was Melka, wife of Nahor. Then he gave me a golden nose ring and two bracelets. I ran home and told my brother Laban everything. The Laban ran, ran to the man and took him to my father. He told my family the whole story. Turns out I was the answer to his prayer. My father said this that this is for Yahweh. And then he said, will you go with this man? And I said, I would go. I became the wife of Yeshak, son of Abraham. I am the mother of twin twin boys, two nations, Esau and Yaakov, who later became Yisrael. Who am I? I am Ripka. And I am from the tribe that I was the one who created the 12 tribes of Israel. My children's names are Simon, Reuben, Issachar, sister's sons and my sister and her sons are the other half and, but anyway my father Laban gave me to Yaakov instead of Rahel and but it was alright because he married Rahel anyway who am I? I am Laban One name was 
was Yosef, and one name was Benjamin. I am Rahel, the love wife. Created on the sixth day. 
I was born in Yahweh's image. Yahweh was like a best friend to me. No, wait, I can't say that. He was so much more, I can't really describe it into words. He was so much of a friend, he gave me a place to live. And all I had to do was till the ground, and I had to protect it. And that was more than I could ask for. He was so much of a friend. He even gave me the opportunity to name all the livestock, all the beasts of the fields. Sure, that took a long time. But every time, all of the time was well spent. After I had named all that, I still kind of felt a little alone. Don't get me wrong, I had Yahweh by my side. But some part of me just fell alone. And when I fell asleep, I woke up to a sight that you guys had to see. <laughs> I mean, I thought I was good looking. But, but, what I, but what I saw was breathtaking. So I thought my life was set. So one day, so one day, my wife had gave me a fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. I told her, aren't we not supposed to eat that? And she told me, yeah, but I'm still here. So I thought to myself, Yahweh did tell us not to eat it, but she's still there. So I decided to eat it anyway. So Yahweh found out he was angry, so we got kicked out. We were homeless. And that was like a scary thought. So I blamed my wife, like, why'd you give me the fruit, girl? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> then I blamed Yahweh, like, you can't, you can't, you can't just kick me off for of one thing. I mean, it was one thing. But I had to realize, I am the man. I chose to eat that fruit. She could have ate it and I couldn't have, but since I did, I had to own up to my mistakes. So after I had after I had had realized that my life had became in peace. So years on, finally settled down. We had kids. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> and I thought and I thought my life was set. I am a dom. Circumstances, but I am still thankful 
that my husband and I were able to maintain our relationship with Yahweh and that he gave us another chance. Who am I? I am Holly. I was born in the year 1200 BC. I was the fourth judge of pre Marnock Israel. My husband's name is Lipido, which means tortured, and he has always been a torture in my household. I have four brothers Levat, Shifthan, Azazia, and Hillel. My father came from the tribe of Ephraim. I led a successful attack against the Yavin. King of Canaan and his military commander, Sisera, with their, they were fierce with their 900 chariots. I remember the attack just like it was yesterday. It all started when Ehud died, and the children of Israel did evil in the eyes of Yahweh once again. So, Yahweh sold them to the hands of Yahweh, and he harshly oppressed the children of Israel for 20 years. The children of Israel called for me for right ruling. So I called for Barak. I told them to go to Mount Tabor and take with them 10,000 men. But he insisted that I go with them. He said, I will not go if you do not come with me. So I went. That battle was so intense. Yahweh destroyed Sisera, his chariots, and his army by the edge of the sword. It was said that leadership ceased. It ceased in Israel until I, I arose, a mother of Israel arose. I am Deborah. Thank you. Attendees to MHG. First, we had Rilka. Yeah. 